Ready. This is a, a strengthening program that we're going to do for adductors or groin tears or strains, including um, acute injuries through to chronic conditions. Exercise one, using a towel on the ground, and I want you to have your sand shoes on. You're gonna be in a slightly uh, bent position, need about 20 degrees, and this is your bad side. What we're going to get you to start doing is pushing out and then pulling back in. So I'm notice here, I'm staying at about 20 degrees with this thing. I'm pushing into the floor and I'm pulling back in and I'll go through and do 50 reps like so. If you find it, you're having a bit of problems with balance and you want to get a little bit more stability, I'm happy just to grab onto something just to get a little bit more balance to start with. Then I'm gonna get you to do exactly the same thing in this position and pushing. I need you to push into the ground with that or pulling back in or just do it with your sock on. On that side, you can actually find it. Like so I find it easy with a towel actually. It just gives you a little bit more to aim for. 50. Next exercise uh, will get you with uh, a soccer ball or a soft ball, like so. And we're gonna go through with isometrics to start with, where you'll go through and it will be isometric holds and you'll do uh, three minutes in this position. Like so, you can do it sitting as well, I'm happy. And then three minutes to start with in a straight position, like so. Yeah. Uh, next exercise, we're saying this is your right side that's the problem. You need to find a bench or a chair. You can do it on a chair, which is fine. <laughs> position and you'll feel this obviously pulling on the groin what I'm going to get you to start doing if that feels pretty good in that position holding it for about uh, 30 seconds and you can lower back down holding it for 30 seconds and you can repeat that up to two minutes if that's feeling pretty good we can then start going through here this is really pulling on the adductor on the inside as long as it's not too sore, you should be able to go through and do 20 reps, have a rest, and repeat five times to 100 repetitions into this position. Yeah. Down onto your side. The glute exercise will be 100 repetitions, both left and right. That's for the glutes, and you do it on your other side, 100 reps. <coughs> Strengthening using elastic, walking forwards, backwards, and you'll do two minutes. Tuck the tummy underneath, you get good abdominal control. Two minutes like so. Sideways walking, two minutes. While we're on it, we'll do a hamstring exercise as well. 50 on both the left and the right. Lower abdominal. We're happy to do, uh, initially, you'll have some elastic, I'll get you just to pop it, and pop this around the dining table legs because it's solid enough. Forward, and it will be 100 reps, obviously here. Should be okay if you lower abdominal. And then through into this position, 50, 50. Notice I want here to flatten the lower back to keep the uh, turn on the abdominals. 50 into that position. Uh, no static stretching of this at the moment. In the initial phases of a, a, a groin injury like this, we're happy to do station recycle uh, with no specific uh, restriction. Uh, the big program for, for this will be 
any type of groin injury like this is a minimum of four to six weeks of the basic program. In four to six weeks time, in two weeks this will feel fine. In four to six weeks, we start you on a pre-jumping program, then go on to an interval running program, and then we'll go on to a full jumping program. And most groin problems take uh, to completion about eight weeks. Uh, that's all.